my name is Levi. I live in Los Angeles, California, but I'm a raging Cajun from Lafayette, Louisiana. Lafayette is one like, giant welcome party. Come into our town, come into our city, and we're gonna feed you, we're gonna make you feel good, and when you go home, you're gonna say, I can't wait to go back there. I'm headed back to Lafayette. I'm gonna meet up with my best friend from high school and growing up, Scott, and we're gonna hit three of my favorite spots. Call Scott Morgan. Calling Scott Morgan. Hello? Hey, it's Levi, I'm in the driveway. Scott Morgan. What's going on, Levi? How you doing, man? Looking great. Good, Good to see you. See you. There's all this pressure in high school to get into either different cliques or be part of the cool crowd. And I feel like you and I, we just hit it off. Like we- We blazed our own path. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So where are you taking me first? We are headed to Vermilionville. I haven't taken the tour there in years. Vermilionville is the best kept secret in this area. It is a place where people can come, walk through history and walk through time. Are you gonna bring your kids here? Uh, I plan to, definitely, absolutely. Haven't yet, um, they're still a little young, but I think that it's important to get them here and seeing the Cajun culture and uh, educating them on that. We are here at the ferry. The only way to get to the other side is right here. Are you ready? All right. I don't have a gym membership anymore. This really helps me catch up and everything I've been missing out on. <laughs> We're going to Prejean's, get some Cajun cooking. I'm excited because like we only give ever, ever get to go there for breakfast. I've never turned down a good gumbo or a good etouffee myself, so. started off as a little crawfish boiling room and now we're a gigantic operation. We're known throughout all of Lafayette and the surrounding area kind of for being a, a local hub. You miss catfish when you're gone? Uh-huh. That's the first thing I eat when I come home. It's Three good to catch up because we don't really get to do that, you know, as much as we would like to. I don't think I've seen you since, like, you had your son three three years ago. Correct. Right. Time passes quickly and you, you kind of turn around and you realize that three years has gone by. I'm done talking with you. I wanted to eat this etouffee. <laughs> so where are we headed for our final stop? We're gonna head to Avery Island, Jungle Gardens. Every time I'm in, love to walk around the gardens, go with uh, my sisters and my mom. And we, uh, we love it out there. It's, it's so beautiful. This is really cool just to kind of like revisit our friendship because uh, I think it's the first time we've really gotten to do this probably in, I don't know, 15, 20 years. Absolutely. What do you think has changed the most? I think for me, it's just a different perspective. Like you look at it differently than you did as a, you know, as a child. I guess you come to appreciate it a little bit more. So what does it feel like to be back here? It feels very familiar. Like this is, I'd say for like the last 10 years, anytime I come home, this is somewhere that uh, you know, I'll spend an entire day here. So as we drive down, we're by the lagoons, or we're seeing the gators, it's like, oh yeah, like I'm, I'm home right now. So is there anything like this in Los Angeles? I don't think there's really much that looks like this in LA. <laughs> 